That's what he asked him to do. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَقَلُّ كُنَّ مُهُورْ أَكْثَرُ كُنَّ baraka." Like less mahar you have, that means more baraka you have. So when you marry someone, if she asks for mahar, if her mahar is a dollar or twenty dollar or a hundred dollar or, or a ring only or a, a surah from the Quran because the female sahabiyat of Prophet's time وسلم, their mahar used to be a surah from the Quran. Read surah, memorize surah al-Fatiha for me. Memorize uh, surah al-Kafirun for me. This is my mahar. And then God be your wife. You see? So less mahar, more baraka. That means more mahar, less baraka. So that's why we see, unfortunately, now, it's very hard for people to get married. All right, let's, let's speak honest about this. People, they talk, talk to the people. See, they, some people, they come say, I want a husband or so and so. Okay, we'll send someone. And then this person will come back, it didn't work. Why? Oh, they want so and so. Okay, and then talk to back, yeah, it has to be. It has to be in a banquet hall, has to be so and so, and has to be, like some cultures, when you get married, you have to do four or five parties. Like this is too much. You see, who's gonna pay for all this? Why you didn't save this money for them? What is better, to make people happy or to make these couples happy? <laughs> Why you spend like 20,000, 30,000? Let them buy a house for this money. Let them just do business something for, why, why, where these came from? We have to understand, we have to separate between the culture and deen. And that's our problem. The culture became above our deen. So people, they take culture first and then deen second. This is wrong. We look at the deen first. We look at the culture. We respect it. If the culture matches our deen, we'll put it on our head. If the culture goes against our deen and against the sunnah of our Prophet what do we do with this culture? We put it back. We don't want it. Because my deen is number one. So that's why it's becoming harder now for people to get married. And we see, so they will put lots of load on their shoulders and, and get money from here and there and there. They want to get married, miskin. And then when they get married, the marriage doesn't last one month or one year. You see this or not? We see this a lot. We see this. I have a person, a man who came to talk to me, want to get married. And then the daughter, she is in her family's house, sitting, and then no one is knocking the door. When this man came, to marry, they put lots of condition. He came, spoke with me, I told him no. Say no for this. Talk to them about the sunnah of Rasulullah. If they respect that, if they take it, then go ahead. If they don't, my advice to you, do not go. Because there is no barakah. Rasulullah sallallahu said that very clear. And if there is no barakah, you can't guarantee this marriage will last. Then he didn't listen, whatever situation, ends up being and doing all that. And honestly, it didn't last with him, maybe it was less than one year. So much loans on him and debt on him, the man's so stressed and then cannot handle because he see this wife and her family, the reason of all that stress in his life. Then he finished all that marriage and everything went separate from each other. Because there's no barakah, you see. Look at these prophets of Allah, alayhim salam. When they do the sunnah of Allah, because the marriage is not business. Your daughter won't be valued in, the, in Allah's eyes if you do that. You want to make her look special and be in front of people. Who cares about people? Care about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, fitna fil kabir. If you don't lower the mahar and make it easy and simple for people to get married, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be big fitna and big corruption on earth. Because you close that door, you shut it, you make it hard. Allah created that door easy, Allah made it easy. Why are you making it hard for yourself? That means you block the door of Allah and you opening wide the door of shaitan. You left no choice. Who is responsible for that? The whole ummah. You see? So, Musa alayhi salatu salam took his job until the imam goes to the member. When the imam goes on the member, then the angels, what they do, they close these books and they enter the masjid. This is, this is the true jihad, helping and caring about the humanity. This is all about our deen. So make sure your knee is for Allah.